Hello everybody, Mr. LEGO Lover 55 here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Today we're taking a look at a Ninjago Legacy set. This is set number 70665, The Samurai Mech. This set is recommended for ages 7 and up, and has around 154 pieces. So, taking a look at the box here, it is pretty much the standard $15 box size. And then at the top, got LEGO Ninjago Legacy logo with Kai there in the corner. Got the set info there. Uh, here in the bottom corner, it says it's featured in Season 1, which it is. Got the, all the minifigures there at the bottom. Picture of the actual set. On the back, you've got uh, all the play features and stuff. And even some uh, pictures of the scenes that the Samurai Mech appears in in Season 1, which is pretty cool. And actually, something that's also really cool is that they put these uh, this cool side box art. And they actually do this for all of the Ninjago Legacy sets, well, except for the spinners, but, uh, yeah, for all of the box sets, which I find really cool. Kind of like the Star Wars Constructor figures, so you can sort of line all the boxes up and they look pretty nice. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for the box, so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual set. Okay, so here is the actual set. We're just going to go ahead and move Crunch uh, and Knuckles off to the side for now to take a look at the Samurai Mech itself. So, uh, as you can see, uh, it's very, uh, it's downsized a lot from the original version, and I am going to be comparing it quite a bit to the original version, even though I don't have it, but uh, I will be mentioning it uh, quite a bit, at least I think. But uh, starting off with play features, uh, you've got stud shooters here on the top, you've got two. Uh, basically, you just press on the, the brown thing there, and it shoots out studs. And they do give you two extra studs just in case you lose them because you probably are going to lose them. This cockpit can also open up like that so you can take Nia out of there and it just she just fits in there pretty well, just sit, uh, stands there on two studs. So it's easy to put her in and easy to put her out. But that's pretty much it for play features. The rest of the, I guess, play features is just going to be posability. And you've actually got quite a lot of posability for a $15 mech. You've got uh, shoulder articulation, you've got elbow articulation, and wrist articulation. So that's quite a lot of articulation for just a, just a $15 set, because there are a lot more expensive mechs that don't have as much posability as this one does. And unfortunately, uh, this... Uh, just like a lot of mechs nowadays, this mech doesn't have posable knees, but I guess that's okay. It does have uh, posability there and there in the ankles. But uh, yeah, you've also got these two flaps there, which sort of act as, I guess, armor. I guess that's supposed to be similar to the original, uh, what the one, I guess, uh, feature, I guess, the original mech had. So that's pretty, pretty neat. You can also pose these sort of armor bits here. You can pose them like that, like sort of, or just keep them like that. I like to keep them like that, though. The flag can also move up or down, but that's pretty much it for all the play features and posability. But uh, taking a look at some other features on the mech, you've got this uh, sword here, which I think has a really nice build, so that's really cool. I like how they use this blade piece. Glad that they're using that piece for good use. Oh, by the way, here's what the back of the mech looks like. So it's uh, not too exposed. The most exposed part is right here with uh, all of those anti-studs showing, but uh, up here, it's, uh, it's pretty much half of it is sort of... I guess exposed. The rest, the other half is pretty well covered up by a bunch of these uh, pieces here and this uh, this inverted tile there, so that's really nice. I'll also say that the armor here, at least for the uh, for the top uh, arm right here, I think the armor there just looks really good. I really like the use of these uh, sort of triangle type uh, wing pieces. I don't know what those are called exactly, but uh, yeah. I also like the use of this sort of, uh, I guess, this piece right here, it uh, definitely gives it off, uh, make, make, it makes it look like the original. Well, not exactly, but it does uh, get it pretty close. I think that's definitely the best piece they could have gone with, so definitely happy that they used that. One thing that I will mention, though, is that this set does use quite a bit of stickers. It does use six stickers in total, and that's, I guess, quite a lot for a $15 set. So uh, if you're not into stickers, then... Uh, I guess that's sort of a downside to this set, but to, honestly, the stickers do add to this set, so I would recommend putting them on. Uh, I feel like the detailing here on the shoulder armor is uh, needed, as well as right here, and definitely right here in the middle, because that's Nia's symbol right there, so that sticker, I think, I feel is most definitely necessary. And also the sticker here for the flag for the Samurai X symbol. On this arm or hand right here, she's got these uh, two katanas here, which is pretty nice, so she can like sort of slash like that. So she's got a uh, sword in one hand and then these two blades in the other. Although I don't really particularly like the choice of weapon right there. I think in the in the original, I know there was like, I'm pretty sure there was nothing, no other, I guess, secondary weapon, but uh, I don't know. It just doesn't look right uh, when you take them off as you can, it just, 
it doesn't look right. I feel like they maybe should have done, I guess, like articulated uh, a hand with like articulated fingers or something. I feel like they should have done that instead. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much everything that I have to go over with this mech. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. So here is, to me, personally, the best minifigure in this set. So this is Nia in her Samurai X outfit, and this is not the exact same design as the original. Of course, it's updated because it is a redesign, but uh, personally, I really like it. So uh, as you can see, she, she does use her movie face, so there are some people who won't like that, but personally, I never really had a problem with any of the ninja's design changes, so... Uh, I'm fine with that, but uh, you can see there is her alternate face, so I believe this is the same uh, facial uh, expressions that were used in the Lego Ninjago movie set for the Ninjago City Chase set. And then taking a look underneath, you can see there is her armor there, so that definitely looks really cool. And honestly, I, I don't have the original right next to me. I, I don't know where I put it, and I don't think it's uh, built all the way, but... Uh, I really like this one. I might like it even better than the original, just because, I don't know, it's just, especially with uh, this in uh, red, I feel like it's just a lot more colorful, and I, I really like that. <sighs> oh my goodness, Knuckles. What did they do to you? Okay, so I promise I didn't get this set just to complain about Knuckles, even though I kind of did really want to, but uh, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people in the community actually, like, be okay with this. Personally, I am not. Uh, like, I'm not, I'm fine with uh, them, like, redesign. I understand, like, they have to redesign it so that the other, like, Knuckles figure remains exclusive or whatever, uh, or rare, or I guess. But uh, personally, um, I don't mind redesigns. But I do mind bad redesigns, and this is one of them. I mean, just look at that mohawk. Like, he didn't... Knuckles did not have a mohawk like that. They were just spikes. Uh, the mohawk does not need to be this big. I, I don't know. It's just like... It's too big to the point where you don't even know... It. You, you, you can't even tell it's really Knuckles anymore. And then uh, there is the armor piece, uh, which I believe that is uh, new for... 2019 that is used on some of these stone warriors in red so yeah uh, there's that you can see there is some printing there underneath which is pretty cool so yeah they do use the same sort of skeleton body that they used for the uh, original 2011 uh, skeleton so that's really nice uh, no printing on the back of course but uh, he also does have this sort of axe blade weapon so if I take the mohawk off uh, knuckles here actually looks pretty decent so I they just needed to get the right sort of headpiece, uh, not hairpiece, and personally, I actually really like this uh, new design of head. It is a new design because it actually allows you to put uh, different sort of minifigure accessories on it, so that is something you weren't able to do with the original, so I really do like that about that, so you can put different uh, minifigure accessories. Of course, you can't uh, put every kind of minifigure hat accessory on it because it does have the face because the mainly the back here is shaped like a minifigure head so that is sort of it is sort of limiting but uh you can get some pretty cool uh i guess maybe uh stuff on him now cruncha here isn't as bad as uh his uh, companion knuckles and that is mainly because his uh his headpiece actually or hat piece or whatever actually works well with him i think the the only thing i really dislike is that it has this piece right here if they had maybe done like a new mold without that i think that would have turned out all oh, much just take that looks even better he would have looked really cool without that sort of clip piece but uh i understand why they didn't just they so they didn't have to waste money to make just a specific new mold for that which is perfectly fine uh and unlike uh uh what's his name knuckles uh he has sort of the blue uh the red cloth whereas knuckles here has the blue cloth so that's pretty cool uh, he's also got the uh, this uh, sword here, so in uh, dark tan, so that's pretty cool to get. And uh, he does have he does again use that new headpiece, which uh, you can attach different head accessories to, and sort of customize them however you want. So here is the instruction manual for this set. As you can see on the front, same stuff as on the front of the box, except it's got this thing in the corner, which I believe a lot of the 2019 sets have this on the front of the instructions. I don't like it, but uh, I believe it allows you to uh, get the instructions online, which is pretty good. Uh, stuff for Legos. So this is, this is, this is, it's new and it's scary. Uh, I'm used to saying, oh, here's like shows how to like you organize. This is new. I don't know. It's uh, Lego life and 
What, what, what is th I this is new. Uh, I have to change my review format for instructions now. Okay, here is the stuff that we're used to. So if you are confused, you should organize your pieces. And then we've got instructions, 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 instructions. Just gonna skip a little here. Show some of the play features. Show, uh, yeah. Then we're gonna list pieces over here, and then a little thing for Ninjago.com. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and move on to the end of the video. So when this set was first revealed, I was not too sure about it. I didn't really like it, mainly because it didn't look anything like the original. And the skeletons looked really bad. But uh, over after having this set in hand, I can say it's not a, really a bad set. Uh, so, base, so I'm going to be talking about the mech here mainly. So the mech, it's a really good mech for a $15 set, but the problem I have with it is is that it's not a good Samurai X mech. It's a good mech, just not a good Samurai X mech, and that's sort of my main issue with it, because it's really cool. It's got quite a lot of posability for a $15 mech, but again, it's just, it's not a Samurai X mech. Uh, it's a really cool mech, but it's not Samurai X, so, I mean, it is Samurai X, but it's not a good one. But, yeah, so, if you can understand that, that's basically my thoughts on it. Uh, it does have some cool features as well, though, but uh, the main thing I really dislike about this set is those, not really, specifically Knuckles. Knuckles, I, I don't like that mohawk. It is a cool, uh, it is a pretty cool recolor for that mohawk, though, but uh, I, I don't like it on Knuckles. It just, no, just, no, no, no Knuckles, uh, go back. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts on this set, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!